that's dumb. I feel like that's not smart at all, but I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It's another get ready with me. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. This get get ready with me, girl. We having a little sip. Y'all know I've been into tequila, which basically is warm apple juice and Casamigos. It's a nightcap, get ready with me, girl. Basically, grab yourself a little nightcap, whatever you drink, maybe it's a tea, maybe it's a little tequila, whatever you drink, girl, grab that. And we're just gonna get into a little girl chat and have a good time. Now, before we go ahead and get into that, I'm gonna ask y'all a question. I don't know why I picked up this glass, maybe because I wanna drink this. Can you subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs, brand new chats, a brand new personality. Y'all know I'm a Gemini. I switch my wig and my personality every day. I need to calm down before somebody send me to, to a facility. Okay. I have on um, just some sleeping shorts and a sleeping top. I need to get better sleeping clothes for these cozy nights in. So I'm gonna go to Target and pick up some stuff. But in the meantime, girl, this is all I had. So this get ready with me is neck up, okay? But it's cozy, so grab your blanket, grab your drink. And before we chat, we're gonna be getting to this gorgeous hair. And I wanna say thank you to OMG Her Hair for providing this week to me and sponsoring this video. Cause look, Linda, listen, look at this hairline. No lace tint, no nothing. So if you'd like to see everything I did, to customize this wig and get more details on this wig, please keep on watching and I'll be back to do the face. So of course your wig comes in the OMG Her Hair box and inside that box, of course you receive gifts along with your wig. The gifts that I received were a satin band, a comb, an elastic band, and also some press on nails. Those are pretty cute and a wig cap. Now you also receive a little thank you and care card but the most important part is this wig. You see this wig? This is what the wig looks like right out of the box. This wig is a 13 by six HD lace textured auburn curly fitted glueless wig. It is 20 inches long, 150% density, has four combs, adjustable straps in the back, but the wig claims on this wig, as you can see, look at this hairline. Okay, so the wig is supposed to have a fitted glueless cap so you can pick your wig size. It comes with HD lace, it has a clean bleached hairline and deep parting space. All those things were true, friend. Now, what I decided to do when I pulled the wig out of the box was trim it a little bit because y'all know how I am about ends. And the end seemed a little bit dry. So I was like, ma'am, miss, Linda, just trim off the ends a little bit. I really wasn't cutting the hair. I was just shaping the hair in the shape that it was already in. So I just did a little trimation on the situation, not too much. I ain't trying to do too much. So after I trimmed the hair, I decided to section the hair away and work on these curls. Now y'all know how I do. I saturate my curls. These curls are gonna get it today. So I'm gonna use my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse to saturate the hair and get these curls popping. So once you pull the wig out of the box, you see that the hairline is done, baby. It's laid, the hairline is plucked. The knots are bleached, everything is done, but the curls themselves are more like a machine curl. So I'm the type of person that likes my curls to look a little bit more natural. And I get that, I achieve that look by adding mousse to my hair. And I only use one product and I use one brush and it's my Evolve 572 brush to detangle the hair and clump the curls together, together to get them prepped for that curly look. So I just worked through the hair and I worked in big sections because girl, I ain't feel like <laughs> dragging myself working in smaller sections. It takes a lot longer to work in smaller sections than larger sections, obviously. And this hair took well to the mousse, which I liked. Now this hair texture is like the strands are fine, but the hair is pretty thick. Although this is 150% density, I noticed that this hair was really, really thick. So I was wondering how it would take the mousse. Took it very, very well. Um, and I was able to get the curl pattern that I wanted. I did have to add a lot of mousse to saturate the hair because it took, it seemed like it took a minute for the hair to take onto the mousse. But once it did, baby, these curls are popping. Now I'll tell you one thing I love about this wig, the 
Hair is curly from the rooter to the tuta. Okay, them roots have waves, waves in it, and I love it. Y'all know I don't like straight, straight uh, roots. Now, speaking of straight roots, we are gonna flatten this, flatten this hairline. My Invisalign got me, girl. But we're gonna flatten the hairline using my um, She Is Bomb Wax Stick and my Hot Comb from Red by Kiss. I'm just gonna flatten the hairline. Now, the reason why I flatten the hairline is to make it look more realistic. You can also get this wig with the kinky curly edges, but I chose the flattened hairline this time. So it already comes pre-flattened. I just wanted to re reinforce the flattation on the situation after styling the hair. So I'm gonna let this dry for, I think I let it dry for like an hour or so under the hooded dryer. And in the meantime, in between time, we're just gonna go ahead and prep this base. Now, you already know what this base is. I don't even know why. Girl, it takes me three seconds. So I just plop on my wig grip, plop on my wig cap, and that's it. Next, we go from bald-headed scallywag to red-headed girl. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on this wig. This wig looks amazing on, as you can see, this lace is about to blend into the skin. But first, we need to cut off the lace. I'm gonna go ahead and use my annie shears i bought a new set of annie shears like they're stainless steel shears i purchased those so from my local beauty supply store they're super sharp i actually love these so i'll leave a link for them down below but we're gonna cut off the lace in one fell swoop using the zigzag motion and next we're gonna go ahead and lay down this lace as you can see it's already blended into the skin frame so i'm gonna use my wig dealer touch up gel to lay down the lace now i think this gel is only for touching up but i love it for laying down my wigs so i'm just gonna wait till it gets tacky then pull the lace forward and lay it on top of the sticky area and when i tell you it melts into the skin friend like literally where is the lace in person it looks amazing like this is not an illusion so when i decided to do it all the way across the hairline i do the same method i paint on the wig dealer gel let it get sticky and lay it down baby we did not need baby hairs i was fully confused i don't even know why i've gotten their wigs before and every single time they do not disappoint so next what i like to do is go over the lace a little bit for any areas that may be stick up sticking up with the wig dealer gel and then after that what i like to do is lay down baby hairs now this wig didn't need baby hairs but for kinky curly wigs i think i need baby hairs like i i just feel like i need them so i'm gonna go ahead and use my what is this this is the oh, i forgot the brand name even gel to lay down these baby hairs now this gel is so sticky girl i was struggling <laughs> But I was able to lay down those baby hairs and what I like to do is cut them really short and then lay them down and kind of swoop them into the hairline because it looks a little bit more natural on me for it not to like stick out but to like smooth into the hairline. Now the ear tabs girl I, I, I don't know I just let them stick out a little bit but they still look small and natural. That's how I like it on these sort of wigs. Now next we're going to do a little bit of hairline cleanup. My biggest issue when it comes to wigs is that I end up applying a wig and then I got a whole shiny forehead. Everybody can see that I got this sticky stuff on my forehead. It looks like there's candy on my forehead. Like it look amazing. So I like to use micellar water and a Q-tip to clean up all of that shininess and that stickiness that makes it look like a wig. Girl, it cleans up like crazy. And this is the Origins micellar water. It's amazing. Now next I like to take a a rapid strip to flatten the hairline and melt it down. And I like to use a rapid strip and an elastic band to get that extra meltation on the situation and to make sure I don't get like that residue sticking up. Like I feel like the rapid strip, for some reason in my head, I think it adds a little extra oomph. So I let that sit for maybe like 15 to 20 minutes. And after that time, I decide I need to fluff up this hair. It's already dry, it's ready to go and baby, these curls are everything. They look so natural from root of the tuta. When you look at them roots, baby, them roots are waving. Now, let's go ahead and see what this hairline is giving after the melt. Now, I'm going to take off my rapid strip and my elastic band, and baby, 
it did not disappoint. Now you can kind of see my wig cap through there just a little bit. So we're going to fix that in a second and it will be done. So I'm going to use my Mac. I think this is an NC 50 stick foundation to conceal that part where the wig cap stopped. Who needs the ball cap method when you got stick foundation, friend? So we just covered that up and it's complete. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with this wig. Now, if you're interested in this wig, I will leave a link for it down below. I wanna say thank you to OMG Her Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. You know I can't send y'all out the door without a coupon code, so I'll leave the coupon code down below as well. Get you some money off, friend. Now, let's go ahead and get into this face to match this gorgeous natural hairline. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the face. The wig is looking amazing. OMG, her hair does it every freaking time. So, let's have a sip. I'm having... Y'all, I've been liking apple juice and Casamigos. Like, it's been a thing. And the apple juice has to be warm. Like, I don't know what that's about. Y'all know this is a nightcap, get ready with me. So we just gonna be putting on whatever on our face. So first I'm gonna prime my face real quick. And then we're just gonna chat. I don't even know what we're gonna talk about. It's just gonna be a girl chat. We'll see where it goes. So I'm gonna use my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. I'm just gonna go ahead and Spray this on the face. I have on these press on lashes from Kiss. Hate them. <laughs> I don't hate them, I just don't like them. I don't think they're that great. I thought they were gonna be amazing. I pre-ordered them from Amazon and they're like, I think it's easier to do the falscara, like put it, put the glue on your eyelashes than not. So yeah, I need to get a headband today. Y'all know I love this headband. It's like my favorite one. The blue one? Yes. Yes. I'm going to plop on this one. Okay. How do you... Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and pull this hair back. Yay. So for the face, what am I going to do? I don't know if I want to do a full face. I'm just not into full faces like these days. But I definitely need to cover up like this situation that I've had since vacation. But it's actually getting better i think i think like it's not even race just this color it's the weirdest thing i don't know what i did to my skin i guess we can start with the foundation right um when i tell you i don't buy new makeup it's like a shame it really is a shame if i forget to say what's what products i use they will be in the description box but i think i'm gonna start with this um, lip bar, just a tint foundation. It's in the color Almond Joy. I think this is closer to my skin tone because I think I still got a little bit of a tan. If I don't, girl, we can fix it, I guess. Okay, girl, I use way too much foundation. Like this is way too much. Even though this is a skin tint, skin conditioner, it really much, it gives very much thick foundation, but um, let me dab it. Oh girl, that's not my skin tone. Oh girl. Let me add this lighter color in Caramel Delight. The other one was Almond Joy, but I need a little bit of a lighter color because that definitely was... Girl, I will end up looking urn. I think that helped, I hope. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna apply this all over the face. Okay. Let's start with what's, um, what's going on as of late. Let's do a last week update, okay. There's really not much going on. I hung out, if you saw in the last vlog, I hung out with, me and my husband hung out with my nephew. He is the cutest little thing. Seeing my husband with my nephew, he is the best. But I have to say, I don't know what it is as I've gotten older. Tell me if you feel this way, if you're married or single. Like when you thought like, okay, when we map out our lives, maybe we'll have kids, maybe we won't. For me, I never was a person that wanted, let me zoom y'all in. But as far as like having kids, never been on my list, <laughs> girl. No, 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 no. Um, as I got older and then when I met my husband, I was like, oh, I saw him and I was like, I see his character. I see him as a person. I think he would be a great father. Then there was like a moment, like when I was like 30, one thirty-two, where I was like, oh no, we gotta, I gotta figure out how we're gonna have kids, what we need to do, family planning, do I need to freeze my eggs? Like what, it, 
what do I need to do? Even though, girl, I ain't have freeze eggs money, but I was thinking like, what do we need to do? That lasted for like a year and a half, maybe two years, where I was like, oh no, my clock is ticking. And that baby, by the time I was 34, 33, 34, came and went. I think I would love to have children, but I'm not like, it's not on my list. Like if I had a list of goals, children wouldn't be on it. And I don't know if that's like a millennial thing or if like when you turn and get into your thirties and you don't have kids already, like the rush to have kids just isn't there. It's just not there anymore. I have so many things in my life that I feel enhance my life that like having my own kids is not on it. But that doesn't mean I don't want them. I just, it's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not popping up for me. It's like a priority on my list. So that doesn't mean we're not going to have children, but that doesn't mean we will. So I guess we're back at square one. But I think it's such a liberating thing not to, well, for me as a woman, it's such a liberating thing to be like, mm, if I have kids, great. If I don't have kids, great. It's so liberating. Mm. I don't think I'm the only one that feels like this. I feel like my generation, we're not having kids like that. We just not. So I don't know what it is. So I'm in the water. Okay, so I'm going to use my MAC 24 hour concealer. I love this concealer. This is like, wait, is this concealer the one that's turning my skin? It can't be, but something did it. Anyway, I'm just going to add the concealer and we're going to let it sit. This face is gonna be really simple. I haven't been wearing foundation lately, so um, I hope this don't look too cakey. But if it do, girl, the only person that's gonna see it is my man, my man, my man. Oh, I gotta text so many people back. I don't know what is, okay. Let's go ahead and go into like the life rant. I don't know what's wrong with me. People be texting me and I'll be like, I'm gonna text them. But then I think, like I'm thinking about a response in my head and then when I think about actually going to text that response and then having to get in the whole text exchange, I'm thinking like, I don't have time for that today. I have other things, not other things to do, but I have like a, another thing to do. So if I start this text string, I'm not going to start what I need to start for the day. So I'll get back to it in a second. And then I'll be thinking like, oh, what's something funny to say? What's something cute? And then I don't. And then next thing you know, it's a week later. Mm. But you know, I do miss the days of phone calls. I stopped being a phone girl when we stopped having to pay for minutes. Girl, I stopped being a phone girl. I used to be a phone girl. I would talk on the phone with my girlfriends. Girl, we would just be on the phone all day. Nowadays, no, no. I was on the phone with my home girl yesterday. It was such a nice time. And I forget how nice it is just to be on the phone with your girlfriends. Cause we always texting. But I also figured out that I feel like I'm a little bit socially awkward. I was telling my home girl that yesterday. Girl, I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm socially awkward now since I've been working from home. Because I don't be talking to people like that. When I was going into the office every day a couple years ago, baby, I would have quick responses. I was witty. Now, I'm, girl, I feel like I'm slow. <laughs> if you work from home, please tell me if that's what happens to you. Because I feel like I am socially awkward. What am I looking for right now? I'm running my mouth all the time. That's what I do for a living. Like I literally run my mouth, but I run my mouth by myself or I run my mouth with my man or my family. Like when I spend time with them, but every single day it just be me running my mouth to me or my man. How much social, how much social interaction can you get? Like, and there's been a couple of circumstances where I'd be like, why did I say that? Like, why did I say that? What happened to your social skills, sis? Like, why did I say that? I cannot find, where's the walnut skin one? I guess I don't have to use, maybe, uh, uh. I don't know, have y'all felt like that? If you're a work from home girly, are you socially awkward now? Because I feel like I am. I'm gonna blend in the concealer. I feel like when people talk to me, they're like, oh girl. Like I've met like maybe three subscribers in person Shout out to y'all. I was It was so exciting for me to meet y'all. Like I felt like y'all made me feel like the most important person in the world. Like I really did feel like when somebody says they recognize me, I don't even know what to do. And I don't know what to say. I be thinking like, do they really want to talk to me? And like, what do I say? And then I start sweating and then I get like hot. My wig is about to lift. Girl, it's just a lot. I need to make sure I get more social time. Meantime, I need to text my ex my homegirl so we can go again so i can get some social time because i'm weird i i feel like i'm mad weird 
mad weird and I need to have social interaction with people. Cause I literally be by myself. Obviously when I warm up, I can get back into the swing of things and I get more comfortable. But when I'm like not prepared, I be saying stuff. I be like, girl, what are you saying? <laughs> Granted, I was a little bit socially, I wasn't socially awkward, but I was more like comfortable talking to people like on a daily basis. But now I was just like, how'd you get in here? I feel like I always been weird ish. So in high school, did I tell y'all this in high school? Like y'all remember senior superlatives in high school, I was voted nicest along with another guy. Me and this guy, I wonder he's, he's, he was super sweet. That is so crazy. Cause I never thought I was nice. I always think I'm like, a not mean person, but I'm not like, like sometimes at work, like if I walk in and you start talking to me, I straight up tell you like, I'm sorry, please don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I walk in the door, please don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm not mean, but sometimes if I'm not in the mood, especially when I'm not in the mood and I'm feeling anxious, I can be a little short, you know, and I don't like mean to be, and I usually go back and apologize and be like, I'm sorry. I was just feeling really anxious and I needed to get it together. But, oh girl, that was one of my pet peeves when I worked in the office. Please don't come up to me talking about work, talking about your day, complaining about anything. I'm trying to get settled in, friend. Please don't say nothing to me. Act like I'm not here, but I'm already late, okay? And you wanna say, hey girl, how you doing girl? Guess what, last night, oh my God, I did. Girl, I'll tell you right now, I can't care. And I don't wanna be rude to you. Nicest is like the weirdest thing. But people still say I, I'm nice, which is nice that they say I'm nice. I'm gonna use my NYX um, Wonder Stick for blush, my favorite thing. My battery's about to run out. I need to change it out. How, how long have I been filming, friend? I'm gonna use the NYX Wonder Stick in the color Deep Peach. Okay, let me blot my nose. Get out of here. Okay, and get under the chin. Another thing y'all didn't know, I spent like six, five and a half, six years in college. And I did it on purpose because I wanted to graduate in the summertime. I didn't want to graduate in the winter. So I didn't graduate until like the May season because y'all know how much I love sunshine, but I delayed my graduation so I could walk when it was hot out. What is wrong with me? Girl, you could have been out of school. I was like, girl, the recession had hit. What am I here running out the door for? All my friends was like, girl, you you get out of college, girl. It ain't, it ain't what you think. I was thinking, well, well, I might as well stay in here, take an extra class or something, and then graduate when I want to graduate, when it's warm out. That's dumb. I feel like that's not smart at all, but I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. I need to set under my eyes. Oh, I haven't used this powder puff. I'm gonna use um, this little puffity puff to set under my eyes. And I'm going to use the Laura Mercier powder. I sound like I'm about to drool. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier powder. Did, did y'all also know I play piano? Yeah. <laughs> I play piano all through high school. I play piano for the band. I play clarinet. I think I told y'all that though. Play clarinet. I played. Um, and I played the piano for the band. I actually kept it from, to myself because I was a fast learner. So I didn't learn like the fun. Either way, girl, I played it. I used to do piano, have piano recitals. And the reason why I started playing piano is because there was a boy I liked that played piano. So my thought when I liked somebody was to do like be competitive with them. So I decided I wanted to be a better piano player than him. He was older than me. So girl, he didn't even see it for me like that. I had the hugest crush on him and um, he played piano, so I was like, ooh, girl, you play piano, I wanna play piano. So I played piano and I decided, ooh, girl, the way I get him to notice me is I'm gonna play piano better than him. <laughs> I don't think I played it better than him because he was really good, but girl, I was close. Quick, too. I said, give me a year, baby. Within a year, I was I was playing Alicia Keys' piano book. I bought her piano book and I was paid that, I was able to play that piano book, do crossovers with my hands, all that type of stuff. I was. And it was all cause of, cause of a boy. Once I learn how to be better than him, he'll see me. He'll notice me. Girl, I don't think that boy ever. Yeah, I, the crush, you know, as I got older, 
it went away because I got older. I mean, I was like early teens, like 14. Once I got into high school, it was a whole new world of different types of boys. So I was over that. Okay, so blotting, blotting, blotting. Ooh, okay. So I set all of those highlight areas. And next we're gonna go in with the bronzer. I'm supposed to be done with it. Girl, I gotta edit this whole video today. Like what is going on? I'm trying to work on my time management. Remember I told y'all last week that I was gonna be like leaving the house earlier? Mm. Or getting up earlier hasn't been happening, girl. I got up at what? 9.30 today, which is good, but mm, I keep working late like today so it's like which comes first the chicken or the egg is that the comparison is that what i want to say no but you know what i mean right you know what i mean <laughs> y'all leave your comments down below what is like the weirdest or funniest thing like you did when you were younger when you had a crush i said oh you know what i'm gonna get better than him and next thing you know he gonna be in love with me or <laughs> he gonna love me okay i'm gonna get the size of the no uh-huh now we have to set our highlighter. Does anybody else do like layers? Like I'll do like a couple layers of makeup, but it still doesn't look thick. Well, in my head it don't, but probably if you walked up to me, it'll look like you can scratch the cake off my face. I don't know. This is the Boss Moves palette. This battery is about to die. And I'm gonna use the color, I'm gonna use the blush grinding and I'm gonna hit the top of the cheeks. Hit the top, uh-huh. Ooh, girl, that's, girl. <laughs> But I think this lifts the face, you know? I think I'm gonna put eyeliner on too. Oh, we're gonna do eyeliner today. I haven't done eyeliner in a long time. We're gonna do a cat eye, a nice cute Atlanta cat eye, yes. No eyeshadow though, cause I don't feel like it. What's the point of eyeshadow? Like, what is the point? Have y'all been wearing your blush like this? Hi, I know it's like all the rage with the TikTok girlies. So, what was I saying? Let's do the eyebrows. So I wanna do like reddish eyebrows. So I got this eye, Auburn eyebrow pen. I'd already put, not eyebrow pen, Auburn micro brow pencil. Let me take a second. Why well, I feel like this eyelash about to come off? Girl, these stick on lashes? No, ma'am. Okay, so this is the Auburn micro brow pencil. I don't know if it's gonna show up on my skin tone, mama. I don't know about it. Let's get in there. Can you see it? But it ain't really giving. Anyways, it's dry. You know I got this from the beauty supply store. You know sometimes the beauty supply store be having stuff on the shelf forever. I'm gonna see if I can use a different eye eyebrow pencil because this is at this point, at this point, friend, I don't think it's doing nothing. Nah, I can't live with that. My eyebrows look like they are melting into my skin. I don't like it. I'm gonna do the black micro brow pencil or the espresso because there you go. I think the pencil needs to be warmed up. Girl, I done scratched up my eyebrows, I feel like. They sore from me scratching and surviving. Not me drooling, oh my God. I'm gonna put on eyeliner too because I don't want, I feel like I made my eyebrows red by scratching them. Like they look scratched. I'm gonna use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Ooh. How do you, ooh. Oh, that's easy. Eyeliner's done. Of course I'm not gonna put on mascara cause why would I do that? Why would I do that? Keep it. Shout out to Azalea. <laughs> Keep it. I'm gonna use my lip liner and I'm going to line my lips. This is the NYX, did I say what this was? My NYX Line Loud lip liner in the color of the Rebel Kind. Just gonna pop this on. I'm just gonna settle with this. I'm gonna use the NYX. Uh, lingerie yeah matte liquid lipstick in the color cabaret show y'all know I love using this combo I find a cup lip color I like and I just continue to wear it you know let's glow today so I'm gonna use the highlighter right here in this 
palette. Y'all gonna get sick of this palette, but I like it. It's a, it's from the drugstore. It's a drugstore palette, lip bar. You can get it from Target, I think, if they have your color. You know, the Targets, the stores be shady sometimes. They only carry certain skin tones. So depending on your area, they may be able to find it. Oh, girl, you see that color though? This is why I love it. I feel like highlighter is coming back. The way I used to kill highlight, baby, I used to have on no makeup and highlight and I have oily skin or I had oily skin, especially when I was younger. I would go around looking like somebody dipped me and go. The way I used to punch it around campus with the heels with no caps on at Georgia State, I was like, oh girl, oh my feet hurt and I'm real shiny, but I'm eating, buffet style. Yes. Oh, do I want to do a lip gloss? I feel like shiny is the moment. I want to be glistening. Where is my lip gloss? But, oh here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I'm using the tip. My mouth is already watering because it's gonna burn. It's the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss in the color Pink Punch. It is my favorite lip gloss because it burns and it makes it makes you feel like my lips are bigger, but I don't think they are. I feel like if I spray my face down, this will all settle in and maybe it'll cool down my lips because right now they're on fire. basically just shower my face hopefully these lashes stay on because girl my face is wet i did a lot just now that was not necessary hold on a second i'm gonna let this dry Woo! and let my lips calm down i really just did too much just now okay y'all so my lips are still on fire but we gonna thug it out i ain't, I ain't scared okay we gonna thug it out okay oh girl what a way to look good when my man come home <laughs> I'm gonna look good when my man come home. I'm gonna look good. Wow, whoa, this hair is like giving it to me. Do you see this? Oh, I should have went somewhere. Let me go pick up some wings or something. Somebody gonna see this. What time is it, 10, 16? I gotta find something to do. Wow, this hair is stunning. It looks like, you know, like my favorite thing is the roots. They're like wavy all the way up to the roots. They done thought, they thought this thing through. Baby, they thought it through. This is a finished look. I hope you fully enjoyed it, girl. This was a really, really cute, fun chat. I love just chatting with y'all. Before I turn on the camera, I'm like, what am I gonna talk about? And then I feel like, I really have said this before. I feel like I'm in a room with y'all and I'm just running my mouth. I'm just talking. So, it's been a great time. Hopefully, I have no idea what I said in this video, so. Y'all don't judge me. That's all I got to say, don't judge me. Yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I hope you relaxed, had a good drink. I only drank a little bit of my drink, not too much. It wasn't too much, so. And this is the finished look. Baby, the way this hairline is sitting is beyond me. It's like, it really is growing out of my scalp. Like, I'm not. But y'all tell me what you think about this look. Is it a lot? I feel like it's a lot. I feel like I did a lot. I feel like it's giving very much clown you know but like cute clown it's giving circus <laughs> and i look for it you know y'all tell me what you think about this wig and this look down below hopefully you love the chat i have some work to do tonight so again thank you to omg her hair for sponsoring the beginning portion of this video and i'll leave links for everything that i use down in the description box below below i love you all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Thank you.